So, you legendarily, now, played Amanda Knox in, yeah. in the Lifetime. When the verdict came in, where were you and how did you feel? How did you react? I was sitting in um, my bedroom and I watched it and I was, I was like on the edge of the bed and I, I actually, my eyes welled up when, when I heard the verdict read and, and, and it's hard for me because I played her. I, I do feel like I have a certain connection with her and it's difficult for me to say that I'm not excited to see a young girl get a second chance at life. And she yeah. does have a second chance, and I hope she makes the best. Did you tweet? Out of it. Did you call? Did you? What did you do? Did you? Did you call a friend? Or? I called. I called the producer and the director of the movie, and and the people who were around me. While to say, I was, hey, we need an ending. We need to reshoot. Uh, but no. But I think the great thing about that film was it ended. It was so fact based that it ended when she went to jail. So regardless, the ending wouldn't change. Yeah. They'll change, of course. They'll type in at the end. You know what happened. Would you do a second? Would you do another one and uh, tell the story now? I've been asked uh, that a couple times, and regardless, I just I don't know how differently they do it or what the story would be about. And because it was such public knowledge, they had such facts and information. Now, if they did it about her being in jail, I feel like they would have to get her involved and and being sprung her free. And, I mean. Yeah. Would you, would you read a script? Would you be open to reading one? I mean, I definitely, I definitely read it. I don't know. I don't, I, it, it would depend on, on a whole lot of things, though.